what's up, beautiful jellyfish? It's Tracy. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time every day to hang out with me. I really appreciate it. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about 10 additional budget cards that you can run in Commander. These are cards that are under a dollar. Some of them you can actually get like the foil for under a dollar, which we love. We talk about all colors in these videos and um, I'm not gonna list all part 15. Oh, I'm not gonna list all 15 parts in the dumper. Sorry. It's my goal one of these days to get individual playlists for things, but that's not happening today. Sorry. Okay, let's first start talking about Hero's Downfall. Hero's Downfall is great removal. It's instant speed. It's only three mana. It destroys target creature or planeswalker. I feel like this is a very good specific targeted planeswalker removal if you have a play group that plays with a ton of planeswalkers. But even if you don't, it does destroy target creature, which is very strong. So it's a very good removal spell. Uh, yeah. Okay, the next card is so incredibly funny and that is Telepathy. I don't remember who I was playing with, but one of my friends played with this card and it's just such a silly card. I love it. It gives access to information. Your opponents play with their hands revealed. Um, it's only one mana, which is really cool. You know, it impacts the way that uh, so many interactions work, I feel like, and the way that you know, oh, I'm going to do this. And, you know, just having that access to information, I just think is so incredibly cool. And it doesn't impact you. So you don't have to reveal your hand. You can keep all your secrets and your opponents cannot. So I like this card. I think it's very fun. And it's one mana too. We love it. Okay. This is a um, slightly newer card, I think. Maybe, perhaps this card slightly newer. I'm not sure. And that is Elias... Ill core sadistic player. What a name, man. Um, we've seen so many type of effects um, that do very, very similar things, but it's two mana for a 2 2 with death touch. When another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain a life, and whenever another creature control dies, each opponent loses a life. There's a ton of these sorts of effects cards. Like, this is a really cool basis for a deck. You could do a bunch of like life drain and all that sort of stuff. It gains you some life and it drains your opponents. What more can you say? It's a great card. And it's only two mana for a 2-2. And it's got Death Touch, man. We love that. Okay. I love this set of... Um, I don't know if I'd classify it as a cycle. But these, um, these like, mage cards or whatever. This one that we're talking about is Trinket Mage. It's three mana for a 2-2. And at ETBs, you can search your library for an artifact with CMC one or less. So you can get your, you know, zero cost thing. Um, you can reveal it and put it into your hand. And if you do shuffle your library, I think these cards are so incredibly cool. I make sure if you're, you know, playing with these cards that you do have a handful of targets that you can get with them. But this is really cool to get you your soul ring or those sort of cards that do that. But for my people who are playing artifacts, this is a really great option for you. I really like all of these. Okay, this is actually a new to me card. And this is for my people who are struggling with a little bit of mana acceleration. Um, in a color that doesn't really have access to mana acceleration, that is Core Cartographer. I actually, um, we opened this in one of our boxes, I don't even remember what, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna set this card aside and put it in for, um, I had this set aside for Grand Arbiter, and so far I have been really liking it. So at ETB, you search for a planes, you put it on the battlefield tap, and you shuffle your library. There's really not a whole lot to say. There's a lot of cards that do similar, like this is very solemn simulacrum-ish type of effect. It is four mana for a 2-2. Two, two. It gives you that little bit of acceleration. This is seriously such a good option for you if you're looking for something where you're playing a monocolor deck and you really need access to um, you know, mana acceleration and you're not looking to spend a ton of money. Core Cartographer is a great option for you. You can also get the foil for under a buck too. Love that for us. Speaking of mana acceleration, but on a slightly different note, we have Geyer Engineer. This is a three mana 2-2 two, two, and it taps and you add two mana into your pool. You've got one green and one blue. I really like this card. We had this like laying around from something. I don't even know what. And I was like, oh my gosh, this card is so cool. I ended up building a different deck where this card might have potentially gone, but this is really great for people who want to accelerate and you're really, really conscientious of mana and you want to make sure that you have a ton of mana, which is a really important thing to do in Commander. So this is a great option for you. Oh, man, I love this card and I really hope that it gets a reprint because I want it in foil because it doesn't exist in foil. And that is Disrupt Decorum. This card is like such a fun chaos -y type card. So basically this is four mana, you go to all creatures you don't control. I personally think that goad is a very underrated and underutilized mechanic. It makes the game very chaotic because your opponents cannot like target you. Like they can't attack you unless, correct me if I'm wrong, if able, yeah. So let's just say for some reason 
you play this card when you're your versus your opponent, which actually might, might depending depending on your blocker situation, might actually work out for you. Like if you got some death touch things or something like that, or you can kill, you got bigger stuff than your opponent, you could potentially ruin your opponent's day with that. But you know, you're playing this in a commander game. You've got a ton of people. You're playing this. Everybody has to attack with their creatures if they are able to, and then they don't attack you, which is awesome. I love this card. It makes combat so incredibly tricky for your opponents that it's just fun, and you just get to sit back and like have your little evil villain laugh because it's such a fun card. I love this card. Okay, this card, I cannot believe it's taking me so long to talk about this card, and you guys have mentioned this on one of my most recent budget cards, and that is Diabolic Tutor. Listen, tutors are one of the best things you can do in Commander. A lot of them are expensive, and I'm not going to lie, a lot of those cards are definitely worth it, and I would really recommend if you have the money to be able to get some of those tutors. But if you're on a budget, hence why you're here, um, Diabolic Tutor is a good option for you. The biggest difference between this card and the other cards is that it is four mana, where those cards are, you know, less, less CMC, so you're able to get them out a lot ease more easily. But Diabolic Tutor, very simple. You tutor for any card. You put it into your hand, then you shuffle your library. You do not have to reveal it. Nobody has to know your secrets. They're safe with you, unless your opponent has telepathy or something wild like that, that we talked about earlier. But um, anyways, Diabolic Tutor, it's great. There's a ton of arts of this card. We love it. Okay, the next card is Fierce Empath. I love this card. I um, When I built my newest commander deck, which you guys have already seen that video when I built IEC, um, I had been looking through and like gathering cards for that deck and I realized that I, the last time I've actually played with Fierce Empath is when I built Yisan, which maybe I'll do a mock deck tech for you guys on that deck because I do kind of like miss that deck. I will not be building that by like any stretch of the imagination, but I really enjoyed running this card because you would get this and you would get to tutor for something. It's CMC six or greater, but there's probably a solid amount of targets if you're playing with this card in your deck. It's very, very affordable. You can also get the foil for under a dollar. I really love your Sunpath. It's been printed in absolute ton as well too, which is great. So one of my personal, personal favorite cards and the last card in this list, because I think this card is so fun. It's so aggressive. I love it, is Adriana, Captain of the Guard. I believe I own two copies of this card. I own one in Ladies, because obviously I do, and then I own one in uh, Rain. This card is such an aggressive card. It's very different from my usual play style. I, I tend to be a, I'm gonna hang back and do my own thing. Um, I'm not typically the aggressor. I'll, I'm the aggressor and then I kill everybody very shortly after. That's, that's how I'm the aggressor in Commander games, but I'm not usually this aggressive with a card like this, but I do really love Adriana, Captain of the Guard, because it is, so it racks up the damage seriously so it's got melee and other creatures control of melee and basically what melee is there's really not a lot of cards with melee so it's kind of a more underutilized i feel like mechanic so whenever this creature attacks it gets a plus one plus one until end of turn for each opponent you attacked with a creature this combat so your team can get big which we love i love adriana captain of the guard she's so good I love it. Makes your makes yourself in just you're just such an such an aggressive position. I love it. So, guys, that ooh, sorry Zelda, I just bopped her. Sorry little baby. She's right here. She's off camera. You can't see her right now. But which is a shock because usually she's always on camera. She's like, look at me. Um. Anyways, that is it for this video. I would really love to know what cards that are budget that you guys really enjoy playing. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll catch you all in the next one.